Smokes are an integral part of Valorant, a game where vision and gathering intel on the enemy are paramount. Smokes grant the ability to block enemy sightlines, funnel enemy movement, cover friendly movement, and lots more. There are different ways your team can make use of smokes, depending on how aggressive you or the enemy team want to play. Being aware of these differences and knowing when to use them can elevate your gameplay to the next level. Before looking at smokes in practice, let's take a look at some theory. Smoking can be divided into two general categories, passive smoking and aggressive smoking. As a general rule of thumb, think of passive and aggressive smoking like this. Passive smoking allows your team to play defensively and forces the enemy to make the first move. They act and you react. Take this example on B site and split. Let's take a closer look at Garage. Green indicates friendly map control, red indicates enemy map control, and orange indicates neutral or contested map regions. In this round, your team decides to take a defensive approach. No early aggression. The enemy push to take Garage and Brimstone decides to smoke tunnel to slow down a potential rush. This is an example of passive smoking. You allow the enemy to take some map control while you play defensively. The enemy acted and you reacted. Most importantly, this passive smoke grants you, the defender, the advantage. Defenders only need to watch a single entrance, while attackers need to worry about several angles. Aggressive smoking, on the other hand, allows your team to play offensively. You make the first move. This time, you act, and they react. Take the same example as before, but this time, your team decides to take an offensive approach. Now, Brimstone smokes garage entrance and pushes up with Jet. This is an example of aggressive smoking. You're creating more space for your team. This time you gain map control. Again, you have acted and now the enemy must react. Now that we understand the theory behind passive and aggressive smoking, let's take a look at some in-game examples. Method 1. Funneling the enemy. In this example, we'll be defending a site on a haven. And our goal is to force the enemy into an area where we have the advantage. To do this, we're going to smoke garden and a long in order to isolate the enemy who may have pushed into a main. This does three things for us. First, you deny the enemy a line of sight on A-Long, subsequently robbing them of any intel. Second, you make the enemy hesitant to push through smoke against an enemy they cannot see. And third, most importantly, you force the enemy to funnel themselves through A-Short. Notice what we've just done here. We greatly restricted the enemy's freedom and forced them to push us on our terms into an area where we have the advantage. Perhaps we have a friendly crossfire waiting for the enemy push, or even an AWPA waiting to get an easy pick. You could even play this passively by smoking the boxes as seen here, letting the enemy take some of this unimportant map control and giving them a full sense of security before lighting them up. Either way, we funneled the enemy into our grip. Now let's apply what we've learned to some other situations. In Ascent, A site, the enemy have two options to attack through jungle. They can push through the barricaded door or move up through balcony to get to heaven. Smoking one of these options makes the enemy's push more difficult through the smoke, which funnels them to your entrance of choice. In Split A site, we can smoke ramp or A main, again funneling them through our area of choice. Where you decide to funnel the enemy through is largely a team decision, which should be agreed upon before the round begins. Method 2. Smoking Choke Points There are a couple ways you can do this effectively, but first, let's go over how not to smoke choke points. Take the example of Split from before. Smoking deep into site, as seen here, negatively impacts your team for a couple of reasons. First, enemies trying to push into site are already halfway in before you see them. This allows friendlies only a small window of opportunity to contest the attackers before they reach cover. Second, unlike earlier, teammates now have several different angles to worry about, not just one. This is because the enemies are able to emerge from multiple sides of the smoke, as seen here. Instead, let's try smoking deeper into tunnel. This allows for an effective crossfire should the enemy push out. This can be done on almost any tunnel, doorway or entrance, as long as your team are in a position to punish anyone that pushes through. Another option is to hold an aggressive angle by smoking even deeper into tunnel. This allows you to play more offensively and throw the enemy off if you decide to play the round more aggressively. Method 3. Blocking lines of sight. As we said before, vision and the ability to gather intel on the enemy are crucial aspects of Valorant, and being able to deny the enemy both by smoking means that the number of tactics and strategies that you can deploy are almost endless. This time we're attacking B site from Garage, and we can approach this a couple different ways. We can smoke aggressively to contest enemy territory as seen here, or we can smoke passively and contest a smaller portion of site. Both of these smokes are equally valid, so let's go over why you would choose one over the other. Smoking Heaven grants your team more area to play with. Assuming that you've cleared the common spots close to tunnel, you essentially have the entirety of site to move and position yourself around. Enemies on Heaven are now forced to either push through the smoke, putting themselves at a disadvantage, or to rotate all the way around to CT or Garage. Enemies on site now have limited support from their teammates. 
and you have the freedom to spread out and hold sight hard. You need to keep in mind, however, that you now have more angles to hold. Taking sight like this could prove to be difficult. Smoking a corridor for yourself, on the other hand, has its own pros and cons. You leave more of sight and enemy control, but you have fewer angles to worry about. Enemies will be forced off heaven if they want to contest your push, and will be hesitant to push through your smoke. This allows your team a low-risk plan, but does restrict you to smaller, more predictable areas of the map. Which of these smokes you use should be a conscious decision, and one that the entire team is made aware of. These smokes won't be useful if you're on your own, so make sure your team knows of your intentions. Another way to block enemy sightlines is to use one-way smokes. These are strategically placed smokes, which when triggered, give you a one-way sightline through a corridor. Other ways to block enemy sightlines include smoking to conceal a plant or defuse, smoking to cover friendly movement, smoking to grab orbs or drop weapons, and lots more. Method 4. Smoking to isolate individual enemies. Defeat in detail, or divide and conquer, is a tactic that has been used by the military for centuries. Simply put, it allows a comparatively small force to defeat a superior enemy by dividing them into smaller units that can be easily overwhelmed. This works similarly in Valorant. Think back to that time you were left alone on site and had to hold back multiple enemies while waiting for friendly support. This is how isolated you should make enemies feel with your smokes. Say you're playing a 2v3 and you decide to attack B site on Ascent. The enemy have Cypher on B, while Jet supports him from Market and Sage supports him from CT. Smoking Market and CT as seen here will effectively isolate Cypher, substantially restricting the support he can receive. Despite having two players nearby, assistance is effectively nullified. Now, flooding in with overwhelming firepower grants you sight control, and if the enemy decide to push through your smoke, you still have the advantage. Take this example from the recent match between FaZe and 100 Thieves, where FaZe successfully used a Viper shield to isolate an enemy omen on sight. Chunk off sections of the site. The wall will work out nicely as they try to work their way through. There's one underneath, but somehow venerated with just a pistol from under balcony makes it work. It converts on the kill, brings things down to just two. There are many common spots on every map which can be practically isolated. Some smoke spots include hallway and elbow and B site bind to isolate enemy anchors, smoking a corridor and B split to isolate enemies playing back site, smoking both B links to isolate anyone playing back B or B site in general, and many, many more. You just need to get creative with your smokes. Method 5. Counter smoking. Now, we've given you a lot of useful advice in this video, but what do you do if the enemies employ the same smokes against you? Well, there are several ways you can use enemy smokes against them. Let's look at the following example. The opponents are pushing out from tunnel and have created a corridor to push deep into sight. The two entries will likely push the player playing behind container. Due to the enemy smokes, you're isolated and can't really be helped by your teammates. Now, let's say that you smoke between the container and the pillar. Notice what this does. This blocks the corridor and boxes the enemy into a part of the map that is useless to them. They will have to push either your smoke or push through their own smoke to advance further into sight. This gives the defenders a massive advantage when holding sight. The second option the attackers have is to simply wait out the smokes. If they do this, defenders have more time to rotate and sight becomes a kill box of crossfires set up by the defending team. Keep in mind that this method is a lot more reactionary. You can't counter smoke if there are no enemy smokes to counter. So think of this method as more of a situational one. There are no hard and fast rules, and there are no definitive steps we can teach you. Just keep some common counters in mind, and try to employ the most sensible ones in the moment. Method 6. Decoy Smoking Decoy smoking is a strategy used to deceive the opponents of your intentions. It is, however, too large of a subject to shrink into this video. So if you're interested in learning about reverse psychology and decoy smoking, stay tuned for our video on the psychology of Valorant. Okay, let's take a step back. We've learnt the theory and some practical applications of different smoking types, but which methods and smokes should you implement into your games? Well, the short answer is a mix of everything. Which specific smokes you play in any given round will depend on a myriad of factors. Which agents are your team playing? Are you defending or attacking? How aggressive is the enemy? How aggressively do you want to play? How long is left till the end of the round? Will the enemy expect the same smokes? These are just some of the questions that you should be asking before deciding on a particular smoke strategy. Always mix it up and never let your opponents read you like a book. Skilled opponents will quickly adapt to your strategies, so keep them guessing and surprise them at every turn. If you want to learn how each individual agent fits into what we've learned today, stay tuned for our agent smoke guide. And be sure to subscribe. Thank you for watching.